Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 28 of Let's Play EU4 Proper Portugal. I've spent all of our massive war chest in uh, kind of like upgrading the lands. We have lots of buildings. Look at this. This thing is huge. Look at all these darn buildings we're making. Lots of them. And uh, got another colony that's about to form. We can no longer claim that Bambuk would be part of our realm. That sounds like something we might need to perhaps fabricate another claim on. Although Bambuk is one of those ones that makes gold, which we should really leave to Mali. But that's okay. Um, I don't know, we're building stuff, building temples. Something's become core. Very nice. Revolt Risk. Pretty much gone. We don't really seem to have any real problems. Little bit, little tiny bit of base Revolt Risk. Um, Sunni Zealots. They're causing some problems somewhere. Benin. Benin. Alright, so we do have some revolt risk. It's already been harshly treated. It's the missionary that's really causing the problems. Okay. And we're using this army stack to take care of both. You know, I guess I probably shouldn't have it quite that low, just in case there's an uprising. We're not going to spend any more military power on it. Could hire a new dude. We're not going to. Actually making profit for once. 22 gold a month. Don't seem to really be getting any kind of pop-ups about the temples completing. And these are probably what? What are these? I've already forgotten. Already capped out relations, huh? Okay, well let's see. Um, what are you building? An armory. That's right. So we should be seeing our manpower cap rise quite a bit, I'm thinking. Coffee in Puerto Rico. The other thing I could consider is at some point if I picked up a, another idea, we could get the trade ideas. Which would make a lot of sense as a trade empire. More trade efficiency, two extra merchants, better steering. Three extra merchants, in fact. Although, I kind of want expansion ideas, because I'd love to get that third colonist. I want everything. I want all of them. What can I say? I certainly want to attack Spain. That's for sure. Spain's a bunch of bastards, is what they are. How can we turn on Spain... Like, right now I can't do it, because we've got no no ability to declare war, but when Yao Davis, the Avis, comes into power, it's going to be a masterful man. The problem is that I am, what, personally unionized? Personal union with all these guys? Royal mar no, personal, sorry, royal marriage. We don't have any alliances. Yes, we do. We're allied with Scotland. So, Scotland versus Spain. Oh. Some pretenders. Alright, whatever. Should be fine. Guantanamo! Good deal. Sweet. Now we could easily get a third colony going. Pretty inexpensively. So, let's do that. Military access from Aragon? Sure. Yeah, that manpower really jumped up there by doing that. We should keep building stuff like that. Let's build more of them. More armories. Robert's 15, I feel like. I feel like 15 is still kind of a ripoff, but... You know, whatever. Not having them isn't really a good option either. Just imagine, though, if we moved our capital and all the stuff in the Americas counted as local instead of overseas, our production would just just shoot up like crazy. Where are you at, buddy? Teleport! Ta-da! That's all it takes! 
lose. I know I've only got you like halfway supported in troop count or troop morale, but stay in, stay in there, stay in control, buddy. So let's see, how can I kill Spain? Spain has like let's just see. Could I even fight Spain? Heads up. Spain has twenty-five thousand troops, and Spain has. 18 ships, where I have 43 ships. Okay, we definitely have control of the seas. And if I was able to recall enough men to the mainland to fight Spain and leave just a couple down here, then I could actually take Spain. I could do it. The problem is that doing that would just give me more overextension problems. Embrace the counter-reformation. Ideas go up. Better missionary strength. This lasts us forever. But we are the, uh, we're the, we're the carrier controller. We should probably embrace it. Alright, that's fine. We'll do it. So, how are we doing on religion, in fact? Means we have another guy. Let's do that. Benin should convert a lot faster now. That's good. Taxes is only going to take six months. Six more months, that's actually really quick. Okay, good. Religious unity will go up. I just want to confirm, I can't declare war, right? Yeah. What if I just, like, can I, like, threaten you, Spain? Can I just say, hey, I'm warning you, stop freaking expanding near me. I definitely don't want to get involved in a land war with France. No mission. Good, we get a new mission. Conquest Tangiers. <laughs> Conquer Tangier. Oh, jeez. That's funny. It is a important center of trade, and we are drawing uh, 18... Wow, we are actually getting a lot of money from this. Trade efficiency is pretty high. We have tremendous trade power here, even though... Yeah, we're still embargoing Spain. <laughs> That's funny. I should embargo Morocco. Why haven't we embargoed Morocco yet? Oops. Why haven't I done that? That's weird. Seems like something I should have done a long time ago. Morocco! Hey, Morocco! I'm going to embargo you, please. That is a economic action, I believe. So we should see this go up higher. As their trade power goes down, our trade share should go up. 82 trade power from light ships. And I actually think I have room for more ships. Let's build some more. Let's get some... Uh, caravels. We can have six more. So one, two, three, four, five. And a sixth over here. And then we'll just keep stockpiling them there. I didn't realize we were getting quite that much money from there. Look at that, we're getting 56% of our income from trade. Sevilla is actually making a lot. Still think it makes sense, though, to send it up to the Chesapeake Bay and collect up there. Pretty sure. Because otherwise, all the wealth that's coming from this area, I don't really have any control over. It's just based on the, the trade routes, you know, the directions that it has to go in. Although, where does this one head toward? Uh, let's see. This can go to London, the North Sea, or Bordeaux. That's right. So I can't actually send it to Sevilla. It's unfortunate. Nice! Benin has been converted! I'd like to... Oh, that's right. So, Portus, Portuguese English relations, improved defenses. I really don't want to core Tangier. <laughs> I've learned that's a bad idea. Futa Jalon. Unfortunately, it's going to take a while because we're converting it. It's going to 
gonna take two years. I'll probably forget about my mission. Oopsies. Now, Spain, you are getting out outrageous here. This is not acceptable. How many darn people did you choose? We're gonna need to, to start working towards kicking her butt. I think the problem is she's got such a fantastic ruler. It just, it really, she's just getting way ahead on tech and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so protect trade in Sevilla. And since that is a purely trade ship fleet, maybe it would make sense to... Yeah, we're already having it high. That's fine then. Okay, good. Make it 22 gold a month. I'm happy there. That picked us up an extra 2 gold. Getting a couple more ships there would be even nice. Jamaica's upset. Oh well. Mr. Popey. New Popey. Nice increase to manpower. And what else can we build now? Hmm. Temples. Oh, I don't know. I guess you kind of have to build them. Don't you? Gotta build them everywhere eventually. Like a prerequisite to just anything. Actually, we're out of money. Weird. But thank goodness we have no loans. We're a debt free society. Now, if I did attack you, um. It's the same culture group, so we would be alright. Hey, minus one stability. Yay. That's awesome. But, um, let's see. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get aggressive expansion. Cotton. That's a good thing. But we're going to have to beat, uh... We're going to have to beat Spain. I feel like my game is lagging a little bit. It's kind of annoying. Hey, Spain. I'm, like, you're starting to piss me off. Ooh, Portugal. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I get all excited. Ooh, Spain's got a Regency Council. <laughs> Damn it, it's me. Um, yeah, so I'd have to, what? I'd have to hope that they die without a legal heir. They're currently leading a personal union with Aragon, so they might inherit Aragon. Wow. For quite a while now, for 37 years. Hmm. Castile is rivals with England and Morocco, so if I repaired relations with England, I could probably get England to fight Spain with me. Spain? Or England, sorry? What do you, what do you not like? You don't like France. France. Doesn't like Spain. Perfect. Let's, let's focus on getting sp France. Let's, let's offer an alliance to France. Offer alliance. And it'll be France versus Spain and Aragon. And okay, so that's fine. Now France is what? Probably currently in a war, right? Of course. Actually they're attacking Austria, jeez. France will be my bulldog in both playthroughs, how's that sound? But uh yeah, France plus me. Um I don't think they'll ally with England if I get them involved, but possibly I could maybe even get, since they both don't like Spain. Manpower's nice. Right? You don't like Spain, right? Oh, wait, no. They just don't like France. Damn. Oh, well. France and I can take on Spain. I might even be able to do a temporary alliance. No. Rivalry attitude towards me. Oh, well. It's worth an, it was worth a shot to try to consider. Might even be able to get... I was thinking I might be able to get Morocco to help out in a war against them. Another five? Another fiver? Sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna... I think, uh... I'd like to have my leader there. My ruler. My guy.
I don't want them to arrive without getting a little bit of morale back. Just a little bit. Enough so that they don't lose. Two colonists. Wow. Oh, a colonial company has decided to expand into a different colony. Okay. Tortuga. Tortuga. Alright, so we got a new colony. It said two, but there's actually ten. Well, good. I mean, I, I guess. That means that we've got, uh, we'll have four province, four colonies again, but... Well, and that one that just converted, I remember, was one of the ones that I needed to start building a thing at. A star Fort, wasn't it? Yeah, Futa needs a Star Fort. Okay. We're actually over our manpower cap, and unfortunately we're also capped out on land units, so what to do? Can we build anything interesting like temples? Yes, we can. Temple, 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 temple. Ooh, not that one. Makes like nothing. Temple here, temple here. And we're out of money again. So how can we get France to die in a... or sorry, Spain to die in a fire? Okay. After the publication of the Institute of the Christian Church, introducing the central principles and ideas of the theological reformation, the social, political, and philosophical attitude of Europe has begun to alter. The doctrines of the elect and predestination has had a strong influence on the population of Powat... <laughs> Whatever. So we've got reformed. It's just happened. In Powatan. Powatan. Alright, so you are a wrong religion. Goods produced goes down, increased revolt risk. Uh, we can't actually convert it at all because it's too strong. Reformed increases trade efficiency and an extra plus advisors. And well, if enough of them embrace it, I guess we'll have to consider it. France, do you like me, bro? Do you like me enough to go to war with Spain? If I break roll ties. We're the Curia controller, so we might as well. Let's do it now. We'll piss Spain off. Can't declare war for a few more years, so maybe I've gotten two more years. I might have just done it preempt preemptively. but. And uh, just in case, we'll keep working on England's opinion of us. Let's improve relations with them. Try to get them back up to happy. Uh, we don't want the inflation. We'll take the productions. Again, we'll take the production efficiency because we have no real production. It's all trade. All trade monies. Yeah, that fourth colony is kind of affecting my ability to make money. That actually wasn't a good thing. Um, fortunately, this colony should finish pretty quick. So we'll just send out 75% chance. Wow. Yeah, this will take less than one year, and we'll we'll send him to that colony that just started here in Tortuga. Meanwhile, Spain continues to piss me off here. How are they doing it so fast? I feel like they're going faster than I am. Bastards. You rat bastards! It's my land! Okay, well, I'll take a break here, and in the next video, I expect we will be able to attack. And kill France. Sorry, not France. I just feel like France is something I'm supposed to attack. But no, that's, that's not the right one. Okay, I'll take a break here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.